Hello everyone, welcome back again to Plax's 3D Shallow Foundation course from uh, Theory to Practice. Uh, this is uh, lesson uh, 55 and in this example we will do a consolidation settlement analysis based on the degree of consolidation using Plax's uh, 3D. So if you remember in uh, uh, tutorial uh, 54 we used consolidation settlement analysis based on the minimum uh, excess pore water pressure so the only difference in uh, this example is uh, that we will use uh, degree of consolidation uh, we will uh, specify a degree of consolidation in Plaxis uh, 3D and uh, based on this uh, degree of consolidation the Plaxis will uh, calculate the consolidation uh, settlement and uh, the time or interval time required to reach uh, this uh, degree will also be calculated and also uh, it will evaluate the excess power water pressure and uh, settlement uh, throughout the consolidation uh, process so I will uh, open uh, lesson uh, 54 from uh, Plax's uh, course. So I will open uh, this uh, Plax's uh, file and I will uh, copy this title which is uh, lesson uh, 55 and I will uh, save uh, this uh, project under a different name and I will save it in uh, lesson uh, 55 paste okay so right now uh, uh, this is a separated plaxis uh, file and uh, the only uh, change will be uh, done in the consolidation uh, construction or the consolidation uh, stage so I will uncheck uh, this uh, button and I will uh, click on edit uh, construction phase and also again we uh, can uh, draw the uh, load displacement curve and uh, uh, sorry, the time uh, settlement curve and also the time export water uh, pressure. So I click on the curve manager. Also, I want to mention uh, another uh, things in here. So we can see in here uh, the the reached total interval time is about. Uh, 510 or 509.2 day and uh, we click on curve manager and click on new in the x direction we choose a time in uh, y direction we choose a point at the center of the mat foundation click uh, on displacement in z direction click ok so we can see uh, the maximum uh, settlement uh, which is uh, after uh, 400 days it almost uh, stay as a constant as you can see in here also we can uh, right click on the figure and we can uncheck these construction phases we can see uh, this is a displacement based on the time, especially from uh, consolidation uh, analysis. Also, we can check the time versus the excess pour water pressure at the center of the clay layer. Okay. Again, we click on the setting, and I don't want these construction phases we can see when the degree uh, when the degree of consolidation uh, becomes 95 we can see the maximum excess pore water or the minimum excess pore water pressure is about uh, uh, 
zero point zero point six four five kilonewton per square meter. So we can uh, export uh, this data to Excel. For example, I uh, click on table, control A and control C. And uh, I will open lesson 55 and create an Excel spreadsheet. Okay. So I will copy, so I will paste in here and change to general. So I don't need these two columns. We now we have a uh, time uh, versus excess power water pressure. So I will draw a curve. Uh, maybe I will do some uh, changes. Okay, and okay, I click on uh, the vertical axis. I think this one should be maybe twenty. Also. So we can uh, see uh, the vertical is a settlement and uh, the horizontal axis is excess pore water pressure. So we can write like this one. Excess power, water pressure, and the unit is kilonewton per square meter. And also we will have a vertical axis, which is a settlement. Uh, Okay, I'm um, uh, sorry. This one uh, should be should be a time, and it is in days. And the vertical axis is excess pore water pressure. So we can change the font type to times new roman and make it black so uh, this figure is uh, excess power water pressure versus time at uh, the middle uh, of the clay layer also, we can uh, export uh, the uh, settlement versus time at uh, the center of the mud foundation. So we click. Uh, so this one is uh, settlement versus time. So I click on table, uh, control plus A and control plus C. And I will copy, sorry, paste in here and change to 
general I don't need the first uh, the second column so I will uh, multiply the settlement by 1000 to convert from uh, meters to millimeter so we will have uh, time and uh, settlement I click on insert and click on here so as we can see the horizontal axis is a time and the vertical axis is uh, settlement So again, we can uh, do we can do uh, some changes to uh, this uh, figure. We can uh, add vertical and horizontal axes. So the horizontal axis is time, which is in days. And the vertical axis is a uh, settlement. Which is in millimeters. Again we can uh, change the color to Times New Roman and increase it and make it black so uh, we can see in here how the excess pour water pressure uh, varies with the time and also how the uh, settlement of the mud foundation changes with the time so in uh, the next uh, lesson we will uh, try to change the flow boundary condition of uh, for the consolidation analysis and we will compare to this uh, example okay uh, this was uh, for uh, this tutorial i hope it was clear and uh, thank you for watching see you in the next lesson